Can Western fighters give Kiev air superiority? In recent weeks, the Kiev regime has redoubled its efforts to acquire Western fighter jets to replace its rapidly shrinking arsenal of Soviet-era aircraft. Immediately after the collapse of the USSR, Ukraine possessed one of the largest and most advanced fleets of fighter jets in the world, including the then virtually new Su-27, one of the best aircraft ever built to gain air superiority. Although the economic collapse subsequently essentially ended the modernization efforts, Ukraine remained one of the leading countries in Europe in terms of its fleet of heavy jet fighters. However, all efforts to maintain the country's fighter fleet came to naught after the infamous maiden coup in 2014. The severing of defense ties with Russia deprived the Ukrainian Air Force of access to spare parts and other means necessary to maintain the Air Force's combat effectiveness. Hundreds of aircraft were put into long-term storage because the country could not allocate sources to maintain this huge Soviet legacy. In the following years, the authorities conducted a thorough purge of the army, and only after that did the West decide to finance efforts to ensure the combat effectiveness and modernization of the Air Force. However, despite the billions of dollars invested in this initiative, the Kiev regime's forces are hopelessly inferior to the Russian Air Force. Moscow has already fielded incomparably more advanced fighters, including the Su-35s, the super-fast MiG-31, and the all-new Su-57. During the first week of the special military operation, the vast majority of Kiev's air assets were destroyed or forced into hiding as the Russian Air Force seized air superiority and launched missile strikes against most air bases. Those pilots who still tried to confront the enemy were unable to turn the tide as they were shot down from hundreds of kilometers away either by Russian fighters or long-range SAMs. Since the remnants of the former Ukrainian Air Force are, pra are practically destroyed, the Kiev regime is desperately trying to revive them with the help of Western aircraft. However, logistics, personnel training, and, most importantly, time, are the main problems hindering these efforts. With Russian aviation dominating the air, Ukrainian pilots face an almost certain death. Kiev's intention to purchase Western fighters, and in particular the F-16s, will not provide them with much security. On the contrary, many are concerned that this light aircraft is completely inferior to Russian heavy fighters such as the already mentioned Su-35, MiG-31 and Su-57. In a video taken in the summer of 2022, Ukrainian Air Force pilot Dmitry Fisher claims that the F-16 is significantly inferior to the Su-27 in its flying characteristics. I flew the F-16, and I liked it. However, in terms of flight performance, the Su-27 is far superior to it. He also added, oh, added that the Russian jet fighter has speed and maneuverability, which give it an incomparable advantage in aerial combat. It should be noted that these aircraft lag far behind the new generation models used by the Russian Air Force, with the Su-35 essentially belonging to the fifth generation in all aspects except stealth. While Ukrainian pilots believe that even the base Su-27 is superior to the F-16, the American fighter has no chance against the much newer flanker modifications. The fleet of Su-27s held by the Kiev regime's forces was destroyed, and Lt. Col. Fisher himself probably met his death at the wheel of this aircraft. Various sources, both Russian and Ukrainian, claim that he died on June 5 while piloting a Su-27P-1M over the town of Orokov in the Zaporozhye region. There is conflicting information about exactly how he was shot down. Some sources claim it was a Russian anti-aircraft missile, while others insist it was shot down by their own air, air defenses. In any case, this should serve as a stark warning to Ukrainian pilots that no Western aircraft will give them much of a chance of survival, let alone air superiority.